site enhancement oils to do it. Coffee talk with the Jewets. We are the Jewets. <laughs> so site enhancement. There was some recent heat brought up about Big Rami's quads. Um, in some poses, he had like some some notches in his quads, and arguably when he was like first coming onto the pro scene, like one of the guys always had phenomenal legs, but then they they really got blurred out and notchy over some years, and they they have improved back. But uh, and I remember hearing Chad Nichols speak directly about this when he brought and started working with Rami that. He's like, yeah, we had to really work on his quads were a mess and get a lot of tissue work done. Basically, it, it was kind of spoken like that they were probably using some type of enhancement oil in his quads. And that might be why you see like scar tissue or things. Were, were those know. not, I guess, is that what, it does, is it scar tissue? Or is it just a buildup of the? Well, I think initially it's both. Like it, you're causing like seeing the localized inflammation, and if it's not done right, like it's not going to be really smooth, especially in a quad that's mm. just really long muscle. So, man, it would take a lot of oil for one, but also how you disperse that. Gosh, it would just be a mess to try to do. But then after, over time, like the constant pinning will cause like scar, scar tissue, tissue. Okay. to build up and then like with that much oil in a muscle as well it, it can potentially like decrease like blood flow to the to the area could cause like necrosis of tissue to occur there's people had to like have like stuff like cut out oh man um, you remember that this is a while back, a story like this Brazilian fitness uh, Her glutes, right? It was like her or, glutes and like part of her thigh too. And she had to have that whole... She was she was filled full of... Oh. I don't... I'm sure it was some type of oil. Um, I know they've heard they use like PMMA, which is a more like permanent version of synthol, which synthol is still like a long lasting oil, but it'll degrade... But PMMA is supposed to be like permanent stuff. But if you have someone that doesn't have like a sterilized version of it, like it's it could really cause like infections and it could cause a lot of damage to occur. So. Oh man, that sounds pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's come up, and absolutely, guys, use it. The, some of the ones that use it don't need it at all. And how much is it going to improve a physique? Because, like, for Rami's quads, like, the guy had incredible quads, like, from the beginning. So mm -hmm. that's probably the last place he even needed it. I think it's one of those things, like, you have an extreme body part. Like, let's make it even better. Yeah. <laughs> right? But for a lot of guys, it, it can it can make it worse. Um there's been crap about Hottie and his delts, and there's whether it's just scar tissue in him or he's using some type of uh, synthol. But to the point is that you have to be careful whatever you're going to be injecting in just to not ruin your physique because that stuff will eventually show up on stage. So to be strategic with where you're placing all these injections, rotating your sights and using properly you know, sized syringes, don't use harpoons. <laughs> um, but should, should these guys be docked for if it's recognizable that that's taking place or, or a girl, a female? Yeah, because I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure there's females out there using it, right? Females using it in their glutes, I'm sure. Um, I think it does kind of get to a point where you do start seeing that on stage, though. And I, I think if it's, you know, noticeable on stage, I think at least some of these females are kind of getting pushed towards the back for it. Well, there's been girls that walk on stage with, like, a Brazilian butt lift, like, f fat transfer, like that. Or even glute implants. Yeah. You know? That, that one can be harder to to tell with, mm -hmm. depending on... How good your doctor was. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> 
but that's the thing like we're for competing like where do you, well it's like where do you cross the line there's you know? no rules like there is no rule you can take all the steroids growth hormone fat burners but that's a taboo don't take that it's like how do you how do you cross what's okay and what's not mm -hmm. um I think it's still like you're being judged on symmetry and proportion. Aesthetics is still there. So I think if you're getting to a point where you lose that, which absolutely like knots in your muscle, disproportionate physique from it. Or stepping on stage looking like a Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, you're going to get pushed to the back for that. Yeah, you know? it, like, it's just, it doesn't meet, it, that goes beyond what the criteria is for your division. We're not going to be able to fully judge like if it's there or not. But for guys that are bigger, like synthol could blur out detail. So mm -hmm. if you lose detail, you would get docked for that, right? Yeah. Um, some of these guys are still going to do so good because, like, like say Hottie, phenomenal physique. Like he, he's amazing. So if he had like say something in his delts, he's that that much better than the other guys to where it doesn't matter, right? Um, so it's something to can to consider, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's pretty high risk now. There is stuff like metaform hyaluronic acid that is more temporary. Something that I know a lot of guys are using. Um, seems a little lo lower risk than synthol, and that's a consideration of lower risk too. It's like. If you have a body part you've been trying to like kill yourself on to bring up and you're like, oh, I got to take all this gear and make it happen. It's like, well, you can use this other stuff that is pretty low risk for the main side effect we see in bodybuilders, which is going to be cardiovascular disease, kidney issues, something that doesn't, that we know of, at least contribute to that. Um, or even for a female, right? Mm -hmm. Greatest risk for female is going to be virilization. So rather than her, like, try, like I got to build my glutes huge and take all these like these steroids. Like, what if you just use something that has some side enhancement and that offsets your need to use something else that's much more harmful to your body? Just a different way to think about it. How 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 much are you really getting out of these like enhancement oils, though? That's the you know. thing. It's I, I don't think it's going to be game changing. No. It, it could be enough, but I mean, is it going to move you from 16th to first? <laughs> Probably, Probably not. not. You know, there's so much more that go into it. So that's when you weigh out. Like, is it is it worth going there? Because there is a chance it could make you worse. Yeah. You know, I think if if you don't have the a lot of the raw materials to be up in the running. Synthol is not going to be all, all of a sudden the thing that... The game changer. The game changer. Yeah. I mean, but this stuff's been going on for for years and years. It's not just new. Like, in the, in the 90s, guys were using this stuff. I mean, we can look at Flex Wheeler. You clearly use it in his arms, and we see that now. Like, the rest of his body is shrank. His arm is still, like, large. And, um, you know, not nothing against it. We're in, like, a no-holds-barred competition, right? Um, so if you feel like that gives you the advantage. By all means. Yeah, just, just. Just be safe about it. Yeah, safe and aware <laughs> that you, you could make yourself worse in doing so. So should it be allowed? Well. I don't see how you can. Allowed, <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> is it allowed right now? It's not allowed. Well, there, there's, I don't know if there's any rule that states. I don't think there's like a um, code of conduct book or anything. No. <laughs> What do y'all think? Side enhancement oil in bodybuilding, women's divisions. Should people get docked for it? When should they get docked for it? Have you done it? And what did you really get out of it? I'm curious to know. <laughs> I don't know if they're going <laughs> to. You don't have to answer that. 